All right, what is up, everybody? We are back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one today. Going to recapping Team USA. They have won the gold medal, taking out France in an amazing game. I'm going to talk all about it here in today's video. Thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. Really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. Uh, join the membership if you want to learn more about the membership this video on my channel expanding all of it you can go back and watch that link to my twitter tiktok stuff like that in the description down below and uh, yeah don't waste any more of your time let's get right into it so we have the gold medal game usa facing off against france a very exciting game usa coming off that insane game against serbia france took out germany in the last one usa ends up getting the win very interesting game usa they made a lot of change for the final game putting kevin durant in the starting lineup taken out holiday kevin durant has been on fire especially with last game so they put him in the lineup put steph lebron and katie the big three into the lineup against france and start off very back and forth you know us had a couple turnovers you know but we're getting to the paint hit a couple of shots team france um getting to the paint as well as very close start of the game usa led 20 to 15 in the first after a couple big shots at the end of the quarter go to the second quarter usa still trying to kind of break out of it but france keeping right with him you know team usa you saw some solid defense. You know, AD had a good game in general, but in the first half defensively, he was taking over. Um, Steph Curry had a couple of shots. Seven Booker came out very hot. Uh, so did LeBron getting to the basket. Kevin Durant, very tough. USA led by, I want to say, by five, three, eight points. Yeah, eight points at uh, halftime. It's very, very close. Coming to the third quarter, Team USA starts the third quarter well, but France case stays in. You know, Wemby had a really good game. Gershaw Ypresali had a great game. Team USA had a couple of turnovers at the end of the third quarter, uh, missing a couple of shots, and that let France come back. France won the third quarter, actually 25-23. Get to the fourth, and it starts kind of the same way. France staying in it. I think they got as close, as close as like six or something like that. Wemby hitting some big shots. Now Nicolo had some couple of shots. Um, Team USA giving up some offensive rebounds. A lot of turnovers late in the game. But then it was Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry hits four crazy three-pointers to end the game. And Team USA ends up winning 98-87, sweeping through the tournament and winning gold medal. Stephen Curry with another absolutely amazing game. 24 points, 5 assists, shot 8 for 14. All 8 of his shot makes were threes, including hitting four threes in the fourth quarter. That was just absolutely ridiculous. That takeover in the fourth quarter was honestly one of the greatest things I've seen. Like that end of game... Where they were just giving the ball. So he hit the first three with the little step back on Gershon Yapselli and hit a second three. That was a little bit step back. Third three where it was a pump fake. And then that last three where he just did the behind the back dribble over two players, knocked down that three. That was electric. And the way he was yelling to the crowd, the way everybody reacted, that was just absolutely electric. Like that was one of the most insane moments. And Steph Curry in his first and potentially only Olympics comes out and was absolutely stellar the last two games. I mean, he had 36 last game. That Maybe we need all 36 of those points. And in this game, having 24, I told you Steph Curry was going to have the game. And even though he struggled for the first couple games of the tournament play, the last two games, he's come out when they need him the most. He has shown up, and he has hit the biggest shots, especially in this game. And it was just beautiful to watch. Uh, Kevin Durant had a good game, 15-4-4, four four, two steals and a block shot, 5-12. for 12. Uh, He had a couple of tough mid-range. Devin Booker. 15, 6, and 3. Most of his points, I think, came in the first half. Uh, he was just amazing as well, fitting into a role, hitting a couple big shots. And when they needed him to do things, he was doing it. And LeBron, 14, 6, and 10, shot 6 for 10. Uh, a lot of great plays he was making, a lot of great passes. He started off the game with like three or four assists in the first quarter. He had those two, I think he had two crazy assists in that first quarter. And he was just getting to the basket. And I love, too, that everybody was finding stuff. Once Steph hit that first two threes, it was like, all right. Here we go. Here's Steph. And they just let him do his thing. Love to see that. Um, off the bench, AD. Love the game that AD had. 8-10. Three steals, four blocks. Shot four for five. He was ridiculous. Six offensive rebounds. Um, He was absolutely ridiculous in this game on both ends. Defensively, locking down the paint. He was active hands. And then offensively, the rebounding has been big. Anthony Edwards had eight points in this game. Hit a couple big shots in the first half. Uh, Juhad had a solid game, six points, four assists, hit a couple three-pointers, and defensively, I love what he was doing as well. They were putting him on the bigs, too. Wemby was getting the Juhad assignment. He was doing good. Uh, Bam, two points and a rebound, and then Jason Tatum got some minutes in this game. Two points, three rebounds. Uh, like what I saw in the rebounding end for Tatum. Uh, not the greatest game for Tatum, just because, I mean, he did have a couple bad possessions and plays, but ultimately him getting minutes was interesting. And yeah, Team Sands again, and Joel B, four points, three rebounds. Uh, didn't make a shot, only all of his points came from free throws. Um, which was kind of tough, but the the big three, Steph, LeBron, and KD, 
those two guys, the last these three guys, the last two games have been absolutely incredible. I mean, them taking over and leading the comeback in Serbia last game, and in this game, all three of those guys were the biggest parts in beating this France team was just incredible to watch. You know, look at the other stats. I mean, they shot fifty three percent from the field, fifty percent from three. They had eighteen three pointers in this game. Uh, won the rebounding battle thirty eight to thirty three. Won the assist battle twenty nine to twenty one. I uh, did have seventeen turnovers in this game, but. I mean, when you have Steph Curry, LeBron, and KD, you're not really going to lose many games. And just the intensity, the intensity is what I've loved to see as well. From the jump, they were ready to go. You know, they were hyped. They were getting the crowd hyped because they knew in France, you know, they were going to have the crowd on their side. So they knew they had to come out and play with that intensity and that energy. And they came out with it, and they really wanted it. They wanted to play that kind of energy. It was really, really aggressive and tough. You know, not, not a lot of fouls in this game. Not a lot of, you know, ticky tack stuff. It was it was a hard fought game. And Team USA came out, Steph Curry had a couple big shots. That takeover in the fourth again. The defense from Team USA really locked in. You know, besides Yabusele and Wemby, no one else really did too much in this game. Now Nicolo hit a couple shots, but no one else really dominated took over this game. And Team USA got the win. And now they're the gold medalist. They have won for I want to say the sixth or seventh straight Olympic, they have won. And this this was an amazing team. This is a team we're probably not gonna forget for a little while. I mean, the, the probably the last dance for all these stars, LeBron, KD, and Steph, probably their last dance in the Olympics. For him to end like that, where the last two games, those three were the reason why they won those games. And those three had so many incredible moments. I mean, Steph, these last two games with those moments, Kevin Durant breaking all the records and hitting big shots and having that last bucket against Serbia, LeBron, the entire tournament being the best player on the team still at 39 years old and having all the doing all the things he's done, just iconic moments. And those three were just absolutely incredible through the entire Olympics. And for them to end it like this was was, was special. It really was special. And that's why this will probably be remembered as one of the best teams, the best U.S. teams. I mean, having those three do their thing. But then other guys, Joel Embiid, even though it wasn't the greatest and all that stuff, the last the two games of the knockout round against, um, I want to say Porter, against um, Brazil in their last game against Serbia, he was big. Devin Booker doing his thing, being a guy that can come in and fit in like a glove and hit big shots. Um, Bam out of bottom defensively was amazing. Anthony Davis defensively was amazing. Anthony Edwards had a big moment. He had that game against Puerto Rico, um, bringing in, you know, just bucket getting and confidence. Drew Holiday doing what he did defensively and being the connecting piece. Derek White doing what he did. Tyrese Halliburton, you know, when he got his shine. Jason Tatum, um, even though, again, didn't get so much shine in these Olympics, but him being there, like, it was, it, this is a team we're not, we're going to remember for a little while. This is an iconic team, one of the best teams we've seen in Olympic basketball play, and the way they just absolutely dominated this tournament was incredible. So many great moments, and something you won't forget for a little while, you know? Like, th this was just incredible to watch. To watch all these guys come together and play like this was incredible. And it sucks that we have to wait another four years to watch more Olympics, man. Because this this year, I think, really showed me how crazy and how special the Olympics are. You know, I, mean, I, mean, I obviously know the Olympics are special. That's top tier athleticism and the top of, you know, sports. But just watching this run was just, like, it left you on the edge of your seat. You want to, it was so much fun to watch. That's going to really suck that we're have, have to wait till 2028 to see another run like this. And who knows what the team will look like. All with LeBron, Katie, and Steph, most likely not there. It's going to be really interesting to watch how that plays out. But, um, yeah, Team USA wins the gold. I don't know who won the MVP yet. I'm recording this. Literally, the game ended like 10 minutes ago, so I don't know who won MVP yet, but I'm sure it's probably LeBron or Steph that won MVP. We had just an incredible team, incredible run, and shout-out Team USA. Also, shout-out to France, man. Shout-out to France for an amazing game. Um, You know, taking your from your hometown team, taking you all the way to the championship is really you know, not something everybody does. So, shout-out to France for doing that and making it a competitive game. It wasn't like Team USA came in and blow it out. I mean, they won by 11, but France really kept in there to the last, like, two minutes. Like that, that it, they really played a good game, but Team USA ends out with the gold. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. I really appreciate it. it really upset a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.